Well, there was no question that I was supposed to be the next great American Jewish author, Jewish American author. I was, uh, I w it was instilled in me that that was my role in life. And I started writing, well, I started writing, I guess when I was about 10 or 11. Some of these little short stories I did were published in the various juvenile magazines. I did some poetry. I, would, I became the editor of a high school, of the Erasmian, which was a high school publication, or an editor, I don't know if it was the editor, maybe an editor. Uh, where he, used to, he had my books, I have them here, uh, bound up in bindings, my, my writings, and uh, he even had Alfred Kazin review one of them and wrote a little introduction about this budding author. Uh, and that was my, uh, and he used to go over this material with me, and he trained me to write with continuity, to understand about uh, uh, the inner meaning of words and how words can be used to shape feelings and, and how you, words have to connect uh, and about continuity, about character, about imagery, all of these things. And, uh, and I took to it. I was, I, uh, but then when I got to college, it all broke apart. I had one college professor read one of my stories and sniffed, turned up his nose at it, and that finished me off. But I think I was ready to break with what I was supposed to be doing. I uh, went through a typical teenage rebellion, and uh, maybe I'm still recovering from it.